Hey yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cosme, and on this video I'm going to be showing you how to take a 3D sketch and turn it into a uh, 3D chrome type. Alright, so the process of this video will be as following. First, we'll take a picture of our sketch. Then we'll transfer it to our uh, computer, uh, either through uh, Gmail or Dropbox, or if you have any other applications that'll work. Um, once we have that, we'll download it and uh, we'll take it into uh, Illustrator. We'll pen tool or trace around it, make it into a vector. And then we're going to um, import it into uh, Blender. And in Blender, we're going to add a uh, Chrome material. And that should wrap up the video. All right. So I have the uh, picture of my sketch here in my email. I'm going to download it and uh, we're going to go to uh, Illustrator. We're going to open up a new file. Um, usually I like to do 18 by 18 inches. Uh, that usually works for me um, once I do have this what I'm gonna do is we're gonna transfer the um, image into our illustrator like so you could either drop it in or you could file and um, place and search for your image once you have this what I like to do is to in order of being able to trace with without a problem is I like to go to my layers and uh, we're gonna call this um, reference so, sorry if I spelled that wrong. We're going to go to properties. We're going to lower the opacity to about, I would say, maybe like 20. And um, then we're going to go back to layers and we're going to lock that in so that no matter what we do, we can click, grab, size. We can't do nothing with that um, image or reference. That being said, we're going to open up. We're going to um, not open up, but we're going to create a new layer. And uh, with this new layer, what you want to do is you want to go and grab the pen tool. And we could now start uh, uh, tracing our logo. Now, this is not a specific video on how to use a pen tool, but I will show you more or less how it works since it might help some of you guys out. Um, so that being said, this is how it works. All right. I'm going to probably go through one of the letters, maybe two, and then the rest I'll just speed up through the process and you guys will, um, you could either do this image or you could, you know, go and use your own. All right. So once you grab your, all right. So with the pen tool, what you want to do is over here, we have a straight line. So what I like to do is I like to control R to open up the rulers and I like to bring it down just like so that way I know that it's a straight line that I'm ending with and the uh, letters will be at the same surface, if that makes any sense. Uh, but we're going to, with the pen tool on, you want to click on one of the edges and holding shift will make a straight line on any of those degrees right there so you'll make you'll make holding shift click on that and then you want to go to your second point which is this one and since it's a curve you want to click hold and drag it and it'll make a curve like so once you have this you're going to have this um two anchors right here on each uh corner um so that'll allow you to keep doing curves which for this case we don't really want that since we're going this way and if we click and drag we're going to have this weird line going on so you don't want that so what you want to do is Control z to undo that and you want to alt click on this point so it closes that anchor so now you could make your own curve um so that being said click on this edge right here click and drag while holding of course and you'll make your own curve Alt click on this point once more and you want to keep doing that for this other other curve right here I'll click on that point one, once more and now for this curve right here it's pretty much of a long curve and um, if you do this you might not get the perfect curve that you might be looking for in this case it actually worked so we're gonna go for it but in other case, cases maybe from here to here it wouldn't work so I'll click on that point once more and you're gonna keep doing your own curves as you go and um, we're just gonna finish this really quick over here remember it might look like a straight line but you always want it to match with your other side um honestly i might do a, a full tutorial on on how to get good with the with the pen tool and um learning tricks and all that stuff but for this video i'm just gonna go pretty much quick with this show you how i use the pen tool and how you could take the sketch and you know bring it to live in a 3d software such as blender all right so now that we have this outline going on you want to go over here and you want to fill it in with this black color and you have this shape right here now this being done now what you could do is if for some reason you don't like the shape or you think that one of the curves could be fixed or one of the edges could be fixed or maybe 
you know, if you want to mess with anything, you could go back without really going back. You could click back on your pen tool and you could, while holding control, you could click on any of the points and you can make any change you want to it. So whether if you want more of a curve like this, or if you want to move this one down because you feel it's a little weird that way, or if you even maybe want to make this point right here, this spike right here, make, make it, um, shorter you could do that so you know i just pretty much show you how to do the um curves how to do curves straight lines and how to turn off that automatic curve so that after a curve maybe you could do a straight line without a problem all right so now i have my logo all done um as you can see i added some more rulers to determine the top and the bottom of the spike so they both end at the same uh position uh what you want to do now is Turn off these uh, visible the, the toggles on the visibility layer. Turn that off. Get rid of the uh, rulers. You don't need those no more. You want to go to window, and uh, you want to open up the 3D mat and materials. And uh, what you want to do also is make sure that all your shapes are um, grouped as one, and possibly even um, on the Pathfinder, click to unite so it's one shape. Um, as you can see, if you go over here now. We only have one layer before we used to have multiple layers with different shapes and we don't we don't need that for this um occasion all right so um now that we have the logo set up we have the 3d materials tab opened up what you want to do is for this specific case you could either extrude it or inflate it i'm going to inflate it'll give it more of a balloon type of uh, look and i think it'll be cool for this specific logo and you'll get this right here now, as you can see, we have a straight, a straight flat on the back. What you want to do is you want to inflate both sides so that now you'll have um, both sides inflated like so. Um, that being done, what you want to do now is you want to lower down the depth. So it'll be a little bit more. It'll be a little bit more thin. In my opinion, it looks better um if you guys want to have a, a better view of it what you could also do is maybe make it pink and you'll have um a better look so you'll see what um what we're working with which is this right here yep very nice i like it so what we're gonna do is while um having the logo selected you want to make sure you go down here and make sure that the format is not png but obj and you want to go and um you want to collect for export on your layer what that'll do is if we move this out the way you have your one asset which is the shine logo that we have selected over here now once again remember you have your obj format selected not a png because if not it's just not going to work um you want to go and export and um on export you could open up your own um your own uh folder for this specific location i'm going to click on this one that i have already done select folder and it'll export it all right so now in blender once you have exported your your um obj file from illustrator into your folders you want to go to file import and you want to go to uh wavefront obj legacy and you want to search up for your file in this case i have mine already right here ready to go um it'll take some time really not that long but you want to scale it down i think it's way too big um and then once you have this what i like to do in my opinion is i like to right click and make sure that they're all united which they are i want to go and convert to a um mesh in case you don't have a mesh already done with it which if you do if you if you look at it this is this is what we have going on right now you don't have to mess with that what you want to you know go and do right away is you want to go to um your materials and you want to click on this minus button as many times as you could to get rid of all the materials and now you want to create your own um so you know create new you want to make sure that you have full white selected and you want to go and bring the metallic all the way up which i have shown this already on previous videos but just to show you once more since this is a, the whole process of creating a chrome logo um you want to go and bring down the uh, roughness to point one and um, if we go to materials, this is what we have going on. Now, keep in mind, if you want it fully chrome, you could. I like to keep it at point 0.1 just so you don't see all the reflections exactly how they're supposed to be seen. Um, you can even bring it up even more. Anyways, 
that being said pretty much what i'm saying is that you could play with the roughness of the material all right um so now with this you could literally do so many things with it you could add a background make it spin all these fun stuff that you could do with it maybe if you don't want it to be this uh specific color let me put this at point one maybe we could change this into red blue i don't know uh yellow you could do anything you want with it um you could even go to the render properties and if you want uh you could go to the world property you could go to the yellow dot and you want to go to environment texture open an environment texture really quick you want to go to your downloads and if you have one of these cool iridescent which i have shown a video on on this already you could double click on it and you'll have this cool chrome look thing going on and let's change this back to um white and uh yeah we have this cool chrome looking type of thing that could be used for many things all right guys so this will end the video i hope you guys enjoy it if you did please make sure to drop a like down below comment if you guys want to see anything in specific on the next video and um thank you guys for watching have a good one